When learning jazz, players often focus on complex scales or theory instead of focusing on simple concepts that are utilized by players like Charlie Parker or Wes Montgomery. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about one of those simple concepts being triads. And when used correctly, you can take your lines from sounding something like this to sounding something like this. All the lines that I'm going to play today are going to be available in PDF and Guitar Pro format on my Patreon, which will be linked in the video description. I'll also be combining all the concepts together at the end of this video into an etude, which will all break down again on my Patreon if you're interested in that. So first off, I want to play this line taken from Charlie Parker that's played over a C major 7 chord. may not sound like it, this is just a major triad with enclosures around each note. The enclosures follow the pattern of one diatonic step above our target tone and one half step below our target tone. Parker does this pattern off of each note of our major triad. Okay, so that sounds great, but who's to say that we can't do that over other triads in the key of C? So for example, let's do it off the G triad, which is the fifth chord in our key of C. Or how about A minor, the sixth chord in the key of C? They both sound great, right? So what happens if we combine this concept with just the C major scale? So just like our triad with enclosures, this line can be moved through the scale depending on which triad we're focusing on. Since we're playing this over C major, let's start with triads that don't have the note F in it. So that would be C major, E minor, a minor and G. So let's start with A minor and see what that sounds like. It sounds great, right? Now, because of the way that harmony works, you could play these lines based on C major over any diatonic chord in the key of C major. Okay, so here is another way that you can use triads to build amazing lines. Listen to this line. This is made of moving triads through the C major scale. The way that you create a line like this is by targeting notes out of the C arpeggio. So this line, for example, moves from C, our root, to E, the third. And does it by moving through the C major scale. The cool part happens when you harmonize these notes with triads in the key of C. In this case, I'm thinking of the top note as the fifth of the triad. And then I use the enclosure pattern from before, being a diatonic step above and a chromatic below, and I target the note that we're going to, in this case, E. And then we just arpeggiate each of the chords that we harmonized, and we get this line. And I throw in an E minor triad at the end because E minor also works. Now this doesn't just have to be going from C to E. It could be going from other chord tones. How about going from E the third to G the fifth? Or how about G to B? Remember that as before, all these lines that we created work not only just over C major, but any diatonic chord in the key of C. Ok, 
Okay, so up until this point, we have just focused on mainly playing triads that work over C major and moving those lines over other chord progressions in the key of C. Now let's take these triad concepts and focus on other sounds other than C major in this key. For example, let's look at the two chord being D minor. So we could take each pattern that we have learned thus far and apply it to D minor now. The cool thing about knowing these patterns off each triad is the ability to play them over other chords like we were doing previously. So for example, you can play D minor ideas over G7 and vice versa. So let's take this line and play it over G7. All the lines that we created over D minor could be played over the two in the five chord in a two, five, one. And then we can switch to ideas that were based on the one chord like we did before over the one chord. Now the fun part is adding some rhythm to these lines instead of just making them eighth notes and then also combining them with some jazz language, kind of like this. Remember that you can just play triads going up and down the C major scale and link those with jazz language as well. It doesn't have to be something super complex or creative. As you can see, just by playing the triads out of our major scale and adding some enclosures to them, we can get some really interesting options other than just playing the C major scale or a scale up and down. I want to close this lesson by playing over the first A section of the great standard, Take the A Train. If you'd like the PDF and guitar profile for not only this etude, but every example that we went over in the lesson, then make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, which you can find linked in the video description below. everybody for watching this video about the concept of triads. Triads can be used in so many different ways and in this video we just focus on creating simple lines out of them. If there's other theory concepts that you want me to cover let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure to do that. And again I want to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you all so much. You keep this channel going and I really appreciate you. And as always thanks for watching and remember to always keep swinging. Thank you.